Hey guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the girl with the melted face, also known as the little melting girl. This story is terrifying and horrifying and so sad all at the same time. I feel like a lot of stories that have to do with ghosts are really, really heartbreaking. By the way, I feel like this shirt is giving off major Halloween vibes, but it's also okay to like bats all year round, okay? I 100% want to get a bat wing tattoo at some point, and I know I will. Okay, so before we jump into this very creepy story, I have an exciting announcement for you guys. I have been waiting so long to tell you this. So if you've been watching my recent videos, you know all about Jessie V World. It's pretty much the official home for the V team. It's where we all hang out, where we all chat, where you can have your unique avatar, and the world is just so magical, mythical, everything that we love. And it's been super great getting to know all of you guys in the world. I love to see all your creative ideas, and your creepy stories, and your artwork. It really feels like such a true family there. I've also had so much fun during our weekly Sunday chats. So because I've really loved connecting with all of you guys, I've decided to take it a step further and launch an official V-Team members club in the world. So you're probably wondering, Jesse, what does being a member mean? You'll have access to exclusive content, events, a members only chat, members only merch, discounts. You'll also get early updates on everything Jesse V so you guys will know first. So to kick things off, I'll actually be having a members only Q&A that's going to be on June 28th. So this is going to be an interactive live event for only members. So it's super exclusive, super VIP. And I just cannot wait to see you guys there to answer all of your juicy questions. So for more information on becoming a member in Jessie V world, go to jessieveworld.co slash membership. I'm also going to put a link down below in the description, but I really hope to see you there. I'm so, so excited about this and I cannot wait for you guys to see all of the exclusive content that's gonna be there. Okay, so without further ado, let's talk about the melting girl. This is a story from 1960 about a girl that was over at her grandmother's house one day looking through her old photo albums. She was amazed that so many of the photographs were taken all the way back in the late 1800s. She saw pictures of her grandmother when she was a little girl in school, when she was a teenager at prom, and when she got married to her grandfather. Now the pictures were all in black and white, they weren't the best quality, but she thought it was so cool to essentially go so far back into the past, really only soon after cameras were invented. The album itself was worn and tattered, so she made sure to be extremely gentle as she looked through it. And when there was only a few pages left to look through, she came across an old school photo that had about 18 students sitting on a bench beside their teacher. They looked to be in third grade, so her grandmother would have been about eight or nine years old, and it was easy to spot which one was her because she always had this giant smile on her face with these cute little dimples. As the girl was scanning through the other faces of the students in the photo, she saw one that made her heart stop for a moment. There was this little girl sitting behind most of the kids with long curly hair and a dress with a white collar, but her face was all messed up. It looked like it was melting. She wasn't able to see any features at all. So she called her grandmother over and pointed to this photo. Her grandmother suddenly looked very uncomfortable and told her that it was probably something wrong with the camera or just the strange way the photo was developed back then. She said that back then photos got ruined all the time. Sometimes people would be warped, sometimes the picture would be blurry, sometimes there'd be this like huge black spot over an image. But it was just super strange that the only problem with this picture was right over where that little girl's face was supposed to be. But her grandmother told her it was getting late and that she should go to bed and so her grandmother took the album and put it on a very high shelf that she wasn't able to reach. And the girl wasn't able to sleep very well that night. She kept picturing the strange girl with the melted face. And when she eventually did fall asleep, she kept seeing that girl's face in her dreams. And these nightmares lasted all week long until she could not take it any longer. She really felt like something wasn't right. Something was very wrong. So she went to her grandmother and asked her again about the little girl in the photograph. This time her grandmother sat her down to tell her the real story. She said that when she was in third grade, the school caught on fire and everyone had to be evacuated. The whole class ran outside and when the teacher was counting all the students, she realized that someone was missing. Well, the girl that was left behind, her name was Lily. She was stuck in the teacher's storage closet and perished in the flames. Well, the class photo was printed only a few weeks later for the end of the year and everyone was shocked when they saw that Lily's face hadn't developed 
developed properly, it looked like her skin had melted, which was a very strange coincidence seeing as she perished in the fire. But the teacher told everybody that it happened sometimes, that sometimes photos got ruined and to not really think about it. Her grandmother said that she hated to look at that photo and had meant to throw it away way back when. But the girl said her grandmother should keep it to honor Lily, seeing as that was the last photograph of her that was ever taken. Well, that night the girl thought she would sleep better, seeing as she knew the real story of what happened. But if anything, she slept worse. She still had nightmares about Lily, and she was startled awake in the middle of the night to see her standing at the end of her bed, her face melting into a puddle on the floor. Even the next day, when she was getting ready for school, she kept thinking she saw Lily standing in the mirror behind her. Something was not right at all, and she got this feeling that her grandmother still was not telling her the full truth. So she sat her grandmother down and was honest and said that she was being haunted by Lily and had no idea why. She saw her in her nightmare, she saw her around the house. It almost felt like Lily was a ghost that needed help. Well, her grandmother began to cry and the truth just spilled out of her. She said that her and her friends used to bully Lily in school. They would push her around and call her names. One day they locked her in the teacher's closet and stood outside the door laughing. They had no idea the fire would start and they were rushed out of the school before they had a chance to let her out. And when she died, they were too afraid to tell anybody what actually happened. So she had to live with this awful guilt her whole life. She said that ever since she had been haunted by her face as well and just couldn't find the courage to get rid of the photograph. Lily's spirit had just wanted the truth out there. She couldn't rest until someone knew what really happened. And after she knew about this and after the girl knew about this, she told her grandmother to go get the album and when they opened it to the exact page of the class photo, they were able to see Lily's real face, one that was not obscured or melting. And that is how this story ends. So once again, a really heartbreaking, tragic story. This poor spirit just wanted the truth out there so they could move on. And that's how a lot of ghost stories go actually. But if you guys liked this creepy tragic tale, give this video a thumbs up and I will definitely make more. And don't forget if you would like to join the Jesse V World membership, I have put a link down below in the description. I cannot wait to see you there. It's so exciting and thank you so much for all of your support. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!